I want to bring in Congressman Marsha Blackburn, Republican from Tennessee. Marsha, we are in despair. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 look, I, I know you're laughing, but you know, the Republican Party just cannot come together and get this thing done. The, the time frame keeps backing up and backing up and backing up. I sense enormous frustration from voters and investors. Well, I think it is fair to say that people are frustrated with us right now. And actually, I can understand why they are. They're wanting to see action. They're wanting to see movement. I'm continuing to talk with my colleagues every single day. And yes, I do believe that we will arrive at consensus on health care. And just as Liz said, it is a trillion dollar tax cut that is embedded in rolling back the Affordable Care Act plans. And there's also a savings to Medicaid and the ability to block yeah, grant Medicaid back look, to the states. Marcia, I, I do hate to interrupt you, but we've no, been through this good. countless times. Yes, we have. And we have. we're still no closer to a deal on health care, and the deal on a tax reform plan gets keep, keeps on getting put off. Liz Peake right here. Talk to somebody who's involved in all of this over the weekend who says, we'll be lucky if it's next, if it's this year. Did, what was it? Lucky if it's this year? If it's by the end of the year. Lucky, yeah. lucky you know, if it's this year. This is the essence of the Trump presidency. Well, and I will tell you this. I, I know that Congress functions when they have a deadline in front of them. And yes, they missed the first, first one on health reform. But I do believe you're going to see us do this when we go back. People know it was a promise made. It needs to be a promise kept. And then you're going to see the pace pick up as we move forward to tax reform. As mentioned, well, well, Hold on, Marsha. Let me get this yeah, clear. Sure. You, when, they, when you get back to Congress after the Easter recess, you're going to have something on health care for us all? I, I think that you will see something because there are individuals continuing to work on this every day. Even though we're working in our districts, Stuart, every day there are members talking, we are discussing different components, and I think you'll see something put forward. Uh, and then after that, after the summer recess, then we get to tax reform, maybe by the fall. Is that the timetable? I, I would hope that uh, we will begin to have some discussion on tax reform. Individuals are very anxious to see the marginal rates yeah. lowered. And that deals with all your pass-through entities, your sub-S and your LLCs. And I am asked every single day about when there's going to be relief on that. Also, when there's going to be increased regulatory well, relief. I, I hate to press. But, you know, people don't want a lot more talking and talking and talking. I'm they, with you 100% on that. They're they ready for action. They want to hear Marsha Blackburn come on this program and say, we got it. Here it is. Let's that's talk. it. That's uh, exactly that's what, they what they're looking for. You're exactly right. And I think that my colleagues will step up, that we will have that agreement, that you will see health care done and then tax reform uh, infrastructure, broadband expansion are going to be following in the in the next year, 18 months. Okay. Uh, well, we'll hold We're you keeping... to it. We'll hold you to yes. it. Yes. You know? I hope you do. I hope that everyone holds we'll hold uh, the, whole the Republican Republicans Party in the House. To it. And, yes, we will. that's exactly right. All right. Uh, Marsha Blackburn, as always, thank you very Good much for being with us. We appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you. All right.